Hello everybody, this is Matador from FreeTradingVideos.com. It's 12.04 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It's still the 27th of January. And uh, we are looking again at this nice low base right around the 109 mark. And if we close where we were right now, uh, we would be sitting on a daily doji. And so if you check this out, again on an intraday time frame, after breaking our beautiful 109 mark, I can remove one of these. Uh, use that as resistance just briefly today, came back up and now it's support. So that valid number uh, remains. A good move again down to a good size test of 108.70. And on a higher time frame, have to actually scrunch it up a bit to find that 108.70 mark uh, right through here. So not a lot of support or resistance around. 108.30 is the next logical place of support and that produces a tail that breaks 100 MA on the daily chart. 108 was our next level of support that we talked about. And again, still watching the 109, 110, and of course, if we can bounce and head north on 112, uh, then that would be the most bullish scenario to my eye right now. One thing we're definitely watching again, just to reiterate, is the, the Fed announcement. Be very careful, uh, 2.15, they're supposed to announce that, and it's always an approximation. So with that in mind, let's take a run around the market internals. So right now, the trend has actually been bullish for most of the day, but rising, making higher highs and higher lows. So bullish scenario, but not as bullish as it could be. Uh, the flip side. You've got the trend queue, <laughs> uh, now wildly divergent from that and solidly in the bear zone. So that's a good thing to watch out for. The VIX is to me basically flat after a good sized run up. We've now sold off to about a 50% retrace of the day and that again doesn't help us with breaking the tie. So good consolidation here in front of a Fed day and uh, take that again with a grain of salt, but good stuff. Stay tuned for D7's video at the close, and I'll be talking to you soon.